In the tradition of the ancestors of Owl, there is no word for miracle. Instead, it is said things happen for reason, in their perfect place and timing. When things happen, we cannot see the reason. On September 28, 2018, at the edge of ocean and forested mountains, something happened. It happened on Stony Hill. From out of the blue, as if from out of the green forest, a voice spoke to a carpenter's apprentice. The words were in the language of a ballad about a treasure on six mountains and the valley far below. Logging was stealing over the tops of the mountains. A legacy gave the people of the valley the authority to protect the forest. But this gift, this communal right forgotten long ago, the citizens did not know their power. When the story was told and the words written, the warning went out through the underground. Obstacles arose, but like water through rock, one voice and another breaking through, through families and friends, the voices and warning grew and grew. Spontaneously, hundreds of people came together on the mountains to learn the truth about the community forest, how they live, how they die, as if directed, visions of magical, impossible things to reach the community immediately happened, as if orchestrated, everything that happened, happened fast. Meetings happened, remarkable meetings, community meetings, the legendary council meeting, December 19th, where hundreds of citizens lined the walls, spilling room to room, down hallways, outdoors. Many who felt they had no voice within the system before the arising of the community, before hearing people like themselves speaking out about the Six Mountains Forest, were moved to speak individually and as a community voice. The council listened, but as if a spell had been cast, as if rendered speechless, in answer to the petition, there was none. Afterwards, small groups gathered in the pre-solstice eve night. Some noted the timing of the northern hemisphere returning to the light and marveled after the turbulent meeting at the contrast of the evening calm, an otherworldly prophetic calm. So it felt to some, so it would turn out to be, the eye of the storm. In many traditions, nature, mysteriously animate, speaks intelligibly. On the night of the solstice council meeting, some later said, it was as if life, awaiting the answer to its own petition, hearing none, took a deep breath. And the next day, it happened. As if from out of the blue, it arrived. The tempest, the cyclone, the greatest windstorm recorded in the history of the island. In a thunderous rush and release, it raced across ocean, mountains, forests, and in formations, in funneling places where the wind touched down, the trees uplifted, as if boughs like wings of giants were released, reaching upward of messenger trees, who untethering their roots, sighing, did lay their bodies upon the earth. It was the beginning of many things to happen over the next three and a half years of the forest campaign. To some, timing would unfold as in a fairy tale, Voices of people defending the forest in all places would grow and grow. Fire, smoke, drought, desert heat, more leveling wind, rivers of rain, flooding would prove the urgency. And many would ask, need life speak louder of cause and effect? In the winter of 2020, as if an answer, a viral force swept the globe. Some blamed nature, while others witnessed as the machine shut down, as skies grew azure blue, at the center of the darkness, a light, a calm, as if a prophetic calm, as if life revealing a glimpse of its incomprehensible self, watched, waited, and it happened. Confined, cut off, in fear, people afar and near seeking connection escaped into the forest. In the very same moment that animals, the wild things, as if envoys, entered the communities. Unexpected, inexplicable things happen. On February 14, 2019, the one thing some said could never happen in a logging community happened. The council declared a pause of logging for consultation about the highest good of the Six Mountains Forest. In February 2022, after three years of things happening and not happening, it began, and the majority decreed that the forest must be protected with no more logging above our watersheds, our growing lands, in our backyards, the place where change in the world begins. As the story is posted, 
before the last consultation, things are happening. The players, councillors, consultants, committees, small groups and the bureaucracy gather in the wings. And you in the audience. You in the valley. You who may play your part at the final moment. What about you? What are you to believe? What do you know about the truth? The nature of the rare next generation of old growth that is your home that you may protect. And what about nature? What about the rights of nature, the voice of nature? There are many voices, contradictory voices, human voices that will tell you their answers. And beyond conflict and confusion, beyond doubt and dispute, is one voice unto itself, unto nature, unto the forests. We do not have to know all the answers. We do not have to listen to the many voices. All we have to do is enter the silence of a forest. Turn off our phones, turn off our minds, and listen. For there is one voice within us. It is the voice of the unexpected, of promise, of change for the good. We have the choice to listen, if not for our own sake, if not for the sake of nature, then for the sake of all children, now and to come. Such a gift is not for no reason. In its perfect timing, reason makes itself manifest.